Hey yeah. guys, welcome back. Today I'm heading into another review. I'm going to be looking at number ones by Mike Jackson. I believe I said that wrong uh, when I announced the next album in my uh, previous video or two. Uh, so yeah, I'm saying it correctly today in this video. It is number ones by Michael Jackson. And let's go ahead, hop to it, see why I think. This is uh, a greatest hits album that was released on November 18th, 2003. It will celebrate its 20th anniversary next year. The album has a runtime of about 1 hour and 19 minutes and includes one single, which was brand new for. Uh, the release of this album being One More Chance. The album includes checks and singles that reportedly uh, reach number one in the charts around the world, hence the uh, album title, Number Ones. So, a minute ago, I mentioned uh, One More Chance. Uh, this was also the last original single released uh, during Jackson's lifetime. Number Ones was successful around the world, where it reached number one in the UK among other countries. The album eventually returned to uh, the top spot in the UK after Jackson's death in 2009 and became the number one selling album in uh, the U.S. for six non-consecutive weeks and stayed number one for 27 weeks on the U.S. Top Catalog Albums chart that year, 2009. Jackson was also one of the first artists to uh, have a, over a million digital uh, copies sold uh, within, you know, like a week. Uh, because of his unfortunate death in 2009. And uh, backtracking to a minute ago, he also does have a posthumous album that was released in 2014. Uh, I have not listened to that album, but uh, someday I'll give a listen and review it here on the channel. Lastly, Tracks here on number ones are radio edits, single versions, and uh, new edits. There are also a couple of live versions as well, but without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into some of these tracks. Don't stop till you get enough kicks the album off, and I feel it's a great track to start off with. We start off with one of his earliest solo hits. I love Jackson's vocals throughout this track. It's just like a fun, playful track. Now, we follow up with Rock With, Rock With You and Pilly Jean. I feel they're both unique and catchy tracks. I feel they're both great additions to this number one's uh, album. I love the more R&B sound in Rock With You and the more disco funk type sound with Billie Jean. Bia is another great Jackson song, which includes more of a rock sound, which I love. Uh, this was off his album Thriller, and at this, this point, uh, at the time of its release, like, uh, the whole disco era was dying, so, uh, Jackson, uh, tried to incorporate, uh, other sounds into his music, while still incorporating a little bit of disco into some of the tracks on his album, uh, Thriller. I know it is getting closer to that time of year, but Thriller is included on uh, here. I feel it's another great track with its sound. I love Jackson's vocals and overall sound with this track. We get a uh, radio edit uh, of Smooth Criminal. 
I don't think it's a bad add-on overall. I feel it keeps the same potential as uh, original and like the overall same sound. Man in the Mirror is one of my favorites. I feel it reminds you that you're not alone, but you have to start with yourself if you want to make any changes in your life. One more chance is a new track that was released for the album back in 2003. Uh, I just feel it was a great track overall, uh, pretty decent, and uh, just keeping his uh, pop sound uh, that, you know, he stuck with so, uh, for a little bit of time. He closed out the album with a live version of Ben, uh, and I didn't think it was a bad live version. Uh, probably, uh, I feel it was a great uh, track, uh, great, you know, kind of quality. Uh, wasn't one of those tracks where, you know, it has a bad recording uh, from when it was recorded live because sometimes you run into those bad live recordings uh, but overall it was a very great track and yeah again I feel it was a great track to be performed live. live. My favorite tracks include Man the Mirror, Black or White, Smooth Criminal, Bad and beat it. I'll be giving this album a 5 out of 5. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments. And next week, I'll be reviewing uh, The Truth About Love by Pink, which is also going to be turning 10 years old very shortly after uh, the intended release date for the album review which I intentionally didn't plan on doing, but in a way, I guess it kind of works out. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next week, and I'll see you all next time.